network is just a um, a force basically at a distance. And so it could be rotating. It could be not rotating. Um, this was a slide just showing kind of the evolution of prony brake is like the super basic old fashioned way of measuring torque or you're know, getting horsepower. And then our axial TQ, which is sort of the latest and greatest from interface. Um, but basically, if you guys know how a load cell works, a torque cell works exactly the same, except it's just a twisting that causes it to sense instead of a pushing and pulling. So there's a section um, of the torque sensor that has strain gauges mounted on it. Those strain gauges are in a Wheatstone bridge. And when you apply a voltage across the Wheatstone bridge, as the uh, resistances change in the legs of that bridge, you get a signal output proportional to excitation voltage and proportional to applied load. And they're linear. And for most cases, you can just assume linearity. You know, it's pretty good. And so you'd say it's a, you know, if it's a two millivolt per volt load cell. That means you get zero millivolts per volt at no load. And you've got say two millivolts per volt at capacity and then half capacity you'd have one millivolt per volt. So that's basically how they work. 